Just quickly before the video starts, I was trying to upload a new music cover yesterday. Unfortunately, it got copyrighted, but luckily I didn't get a strike. But they did have to take it down. But um, in that video, I did announce that I was actually doing a giveaway for a £15 Amazon gift voucher, which I'm, na I'm giving away on the 7th of December. All you have to do is to enter is subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and tell me when you've done both. And I will have to uh, look through to make sure that you have done both because I'd rather uh, not give away to someone who cheated. So be sure or to uh, go uh, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the about section of my um, YouTube page. So with all that out of the way, hope you enjoy the video. Up here. Now I'm gonna have to try and do this video so, as somewhat quickly as I can because I have the house to myself and I kind of need this coffee table just so I can actually make this video. For those who didn't know, I am actually a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Um, I actually do uh, like to play a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh. Like me and my I, um, a friend David uh, like often duel together. Sometimes I even um, play um, Yu-Gi-Oh Legacy of the Duelist on my Switch. And I used to play Duel Links, but it kind of got a bit boring and repetitive, so I kind of gave that one up. But still, I love Dueling. So, since I'm only missing like one important card from my Blue Eyes deck, I'm going to show you what I've actually got going on in my deck. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! as much as I do. If you duel, like what sort of deck you play. And if you're a fan of um, Blue Eyes decks as well, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you're a fan of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, let me know down in the comment section below. And tell me which one was your favourite. And also, don't forget that my giveaway is, uh, well, now begun. And you can enter. All you have to do... Oh, sorry. Let me just um, adjust the light thing slightly. Sorry, guys. You know how unpredictable um, London's weather can be. In order to be entered into my giveaway, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and tell me when you've done both. And I will see if you actually have done, because I need to make sure that you guys hadn't just said you have, you know what I mean? Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, here is my Blue Eyes slash Dragon deck, whatever you want to call it. I separate it into five piles. Right here we've got the extra deck. Here we've got uh, cards that are a little harder to summon. Here there are monsters who are easier to summon. These are spell cards and these are trap cards. So why don't we start with the extra deck? Alright, kicking things off, we have a Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which can be fused with three Blue Eyes White Dragons. Basically, if you get this out and there are no other monsters on the field, you can discard one Blue Eyes Fusion Material monster and then you can attack again, but you can only use, it, uh, use that ability twice. Here we have a Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. Basically, if you discard two um, overlay units, you can steal half of the attack points of another uh, monster, and then you can add uh, what you've stolen to your Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon's attack points, which I think is quite cool. Here we have the classic Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. This is actually quite a fun little combination because sometimes I actually do use this combination when I got Neo Blue Eyes out in the field. Sometimes I like, like discard that to the graveyard, then and, like use Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon special ability. Then on the next turn I can use Monster Reborn and then bring it back to the field. And here we have two Azure Eyes Silver Dragons. These are actually quite handy to have when and you're building a Blue Eyes deck. Basically, what you need to do is a synchro no summon the one tuna monster with an, an, a non normal monster, a non tuna monster, which is a, also normal, can't be an effect. So, this would be handy if for like a blue eyes or a maiden with eyes and a maiden with eyes of blue, or a blue eyes or a protector with eyes of blue, and so on and so forth. For this turn that it summoned, it, uh, like all dragon monsters are safe from any and all card effects. And with every a draw phase, you can actually bring back one one normal monster, and you can bring that back from, uh, from the graveyard to the field. This is actually a good combination for blue eyes white dragon because that's an easy like I bring back blue eyes white dragon, and you can always use it for a uh, fusion summon or even a ritual summon. We'll get to that later. All right, now we're going on to the monsters that are a little harder to summon. 
Here we have the usual three blue eyes white dragons. Fun fact, this blue eyes white dragon here, my friend David actually got for me at Comic Con, which I thought was quite cool. I gotta say, I do love that these blue eyes white dragons. Like, it made me actually want to build a blue eyes deck, so I thought that was quite cool. And here is the main monster of the deck. Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, the most powerful card that I've got in this deck. Basically, this card right here is a Link Destroyer. Honestly, this thing is really tough to beat. You have, has, it can be Ritual Summon with Chaos Form, but if you use a, a, um, a card called Advanced Ritual Art, you can actually ease some um, in it by taking out monsters from your deck. So, say if I wanted to use Advanced Ritual Art, I don't have it in this deck, but if I wanted to use it, I can always send a Blue Eyes White Dragon that I've got in the deck somewhere, and then summon this card. And, best part about it is, it can't be targeted by my opponent's uh, card effects, but I can target it with mine. So that is pretty broken. And, if I des uh, destroy a defense position monster, it actually it takes piercing battle damage times two. So say if I, I like did like 500 uh, piercing battle damage, that'll be then become 1,000 damage. So that's pretty powerful. And I've got three of them in this deck. So that is always handy to have on hand. And here is another monster that I'm quite uh, happy to have. A Deep Eyes White Dragon. Basically, say if Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, Blue Eyes White Dragon, or Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon is sent to the graveyard, and I've got this in my hand, I can special summon it to the field. Plus, it even and it takes away 600 life points on the opponent per dragon monster with different names I've got in my graveyard. So that is pretty powerful, and it also uh, gains the power of uh, the destroyed monster. So. I thought that was quite powerful, if you ask me. If this card on the on the field is destroyed by a card effect, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. That is pretty powerful, if you ask me. And here is another card that uh, is very essential to this deck: Crystal Dragon. It's actually like, well, yes, it is hard to summon, but at the same time, it's easy to summon if you, you get what I mean. Basically, it is hard to summon because it's level 6 monster, but it's easier to summon compared to the other, uh, like, big level monsters I've got in here. Uh, basically, what happens is, during in your battle step, if this card destroys a monster, or if it, no, if this card battled this turn, usually it's um, if you destroy a monster, but I guess it's not, you can add one level 8 dragon-type monster from your deck to your hand. So that's an easy way to get Blue-Eyes White Dragon and the um, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon to your hand. All right, now we're moving on to monsters that are a little easier to summon. So these are uh, uh, monsters whose level levels are between one and four. So here we've got two Alexander Red Dragons. These are definitely pretty fun to have because they're, well, they're level four monsters which can hit pretty hard with 2,000 attack points. I'd say like its only weakness is say if you manage to um, get it to and get it into the defense mode, or if you manage to use something like um, shield and sword. Basically, that swaps its defense with its attack and its attack with its defense. Basically, here we've got a couple of shining angels. Basically, when this card is destroyed, I can actually special summon one light. A uh, monster, I think. Yeah, special summon one light monster with fifteen hundred or less attack points from my deck in face-up attack position. So this would be a good uh, combination with main with eyes of blue because, uh, well, I'll get to that effect in a bit. Here we have a couple of sonic birds. Basically, these are really helpful all to have in your deck because what happens if it's normal or flip summoned, you can add one ritual spell card from your deck to your hand. So this will be a really a helpful old to get a lot of ritual spells so I can summon and Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. And here are our maidens with eyes of blue. We've got two of them. All right, when this card is targeted for an attack, you can negate the attack, and if you do, change the battle position of this card. Then you can special summon one Blue Eyes White Dragon from your hand, deck, or graveyard. But wait, the fun doesn't end there. During in either player's turn, when a card or, or a when a card or effect is activated that targets this face-up card, except during the damage step, 
You can special summon one blue white eyes white dragon from your hand deck or graveyard. You can only e-use the effect once per turn. So as you can see, these cards are essential to have in this deck. Oh, here are some cards that I'm quite happy to have. Kyberman. Basically, when and you, you bring this out to the field, you can tribute this card and then su special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your hand. Definitely an easy way a, to get a blue eyes white dragon out on the field. Ah, here we have a couple of white stone of legends. Definitely pretty handy to have. When this card is sent to the graveyard, add one blue eyes white dragon from your a deck to your hand. This would be a really good way a, to one a combo into a Kyberman, or it could be a good way a, to ritual or summon blue eyes chaos max dragon. Here we have a couple of heralds of creations. Basically, once per turn, I can discard one card from my hand, then target one level 7 or higher monster from my graveyard and add that target to my hand. So this would be a good way to get um, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon back to my hand, say if it was destroyed, or I can bring aim back a Blue Eyes White Dragon so I can fusion summon. Here we have a couple of Kaiser Seahorses. Basically, when this card, this card is treated it as two tributes for the tribute of a light monster. So basically, if I want to bring out a Blue Eyes White Dragon, I only need to, I only need to tribute one of these monsters. So this is a good way a, to get a really um, quick Blue Eyes White Dragon. Ah, here is uh, one of my, my favourite cards in this deck, Mirage Dragon. Basically, during uh, the battle phase, my opponent can't activate any and all trap cards. So this would be helpful to have, have on the field, because say if I had like Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate, or even Blue Eyes White Dragon, and this was on the field with it, it can't activate any trap cards. So that means I get a free e I get a f I get free hits. Karibo definitely could uh, is definitely useful for this deck. Basically, during your opponent, as we all know, during the opponent's turn at damage calculation, I can discard this card and I take no damage from that battle, and this is a quick effect. So this is definitely quite helpful to have in your deck. Here we have a Protector with Eyes of Blue. Now this card is definitely quite powerful. Like, I actually was considering taking it out for a, a little while, but I definitely decided to keep it in because it is quite useful. It's basic, basically, when this card is normal summoned, I can then special summon one level one light tuner monster from my hand. So that it could be a quick Maiden with Eyes of Blue. I, I can then ta uh, get one effect monster I control, send it to the graveyard, and if I do, I special summon one blue eyes monster from my hand. So, say if I combo this with main with eyes of blue, I then get two blue eyes white dragons on the field. So that is broken. And here we have a lost dragon. This one and here is just a for um, just because it's hard hitting with 1900 attack points and it's low level. So, yeah, that's basically all lost dragons here for. All right, now we're moving along to spell cards. And honestly, we're starting Eng off with my favorite spell card. This is the main spell card in this deck. Three Chaos Forms. Like, this is a pretty powerful ritual spell, if you ask me. This card can be used to ritual summon any Chaos or Black Luster Soldier ritual monster. So this could be useful for spell card master decks as well. You can, and you must also tribute monsters from your hand or field and or banish blue eyes white dragon or dark magician from your graveyard whose total leveled exactly equal the level of the chaos or black cluster soldier ritual monster you ritual summon. So this can actually be pretty pretty deadly. So say if I have like all three blue eyes chaos uh, all blue eyes white dragons in the graveyard for some reason. I can then, let me just slot the lighting slightly. There we go. I can then end use blue eyes white dragon and in my graveyard and then banish them from the game. And then I can use it that way to summon my blue eyes chaos max dragon. So that is a pretty deadly card if you ask me. Ah, uh, here is another one of my favorite spell cards, the melody of Awakening Dragon. Basically, I discard one card from my hand and then add up to two dragon type monsters with 3,000 or more attack points or 2,500 or less defense points from my deck 
to my hand. So this could be a good combo with the White Stone of Legend because then I can add another Blue Eyes White Dragon from my hand. And this would also be a good way to get Chaos Max Dragon to my hand, so that way I can then Ritual or Summon into Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon using Chaos Form. And I've got two of those, so that's pretty deadly if you ask me. Polymerization, I've got two of those. Basically, we all know what polymerization does, allows me to fuse monsters to make to bring forth a fusion monster. This can be used with Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, or the card that I haven't added to my deck yet, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. That's the card that I'm missing from this deck and I'm trying to find it. Haven't found one yet because everywhere is out of stock, but I'm going to try and find one even if it kills me. Here we have Dragonic Tactics, I've got two of those. You can tribute two Dragon Urn monsters, special summon one level 8 uh, Dragon type monster from your deck. Since it said tribute two Dragon type monsters, and it doesn't say either from your field or from your hand, I assume that that means you can do a uh, tribute from your field and your hand. So this means I can tribute a couple of Dragon monsters from basically my field or my hand, and then I can bring forth a Blue Eyes White Dragon. So that's pretty broken, if you ask me. Ah, a couple of Dragon Trines. These are actually some um, another couple of my favourite spell cards. Basically, what happens is you send one Dragon-type monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if that monster happens to be a normal monster, I can send one more Dragon-type monster from my deck to the graveyard. But I can only activate this effect once per turn. Basically, this would be a good combo for uh, like if I was only doing it once. I would only send a, uh, a white stone of legend to the graveyard, so then I can add a blue eyes white dragon to my hand. But this would be a good combo if I wanted to bring out a, a say a blue eyes white dragon to the field. Because say if I send one blue white eyes white dragon to the graveyard, then send a, a um, white stone of legend to the graveyard, which then lets me add a new blue eyes white dragon to my hand. I can then use a monster. I can then I can use monster reborn or Silver's Cry to bring it to the field. So I gotta say that is pretty deadly. Ah, Mausoleum of the Emperor. This is a pretty like, fun card. It can also be a double-edged sword because this is a field spell card, which and this is a pretty powerful one at that. Basically what happens is that say A if you want um, to bring back out a, a higher level monster, instead of tributing A monsters, you can and use your life points as your sacrifice, but you can't spend more than two thousand points. So that makes it caps for any like Egyptian god cards. But it could be a good way to bring out some blue eyes white dragons. So that's always helpful. Ah, the beacon of white. Now this card can should only be used if you have all of your Aurum blue eyes monsters in your graveyard. Basically, if you do not uh, ha control another Beacon of White, and if you have three or more Blue Eyes monsters in your graveyard, target one of them and special summon it, but it loses all of its special abilities. And you have to equip this to the card as well. When this card leaves the field, banish the equipped monster. Other monsters you control cannot attack. Also, if you have an, any number of Blue Eyes monsters, in your graveyard, the equipped monster can attack up to that number of times during the ba each battle phase. So say if I special summon a Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and if I had three Blue Eyes White Dragons and three a Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragons in there. That means my Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon can attack seven times. So that is pretty deadly. And I've got two of these cards in there. So this card should only be used if you have all of your blue eyes monsters in your graveyard. Here we have a terraforming card which allows me to add a mausoleum of the emperor to my hand. For a, so that would be helpful to say if I'm in a, in a bit of a bite and all I have are higher level monsters. Here we have Silver's Cry which can and, and target one dragon type normal monster in my graveyard and special summon it to the field. It can only be used once per turn, but I only have one of them in my hair, in my in my entire deck, so that's not too bad. Soul Exchange. Oh, this is a, a fun card to have. Because I can target one monster on my opponent's side of the field and use it for a tribute summon. 
So that means I can and automatically bring out a crystal dragon without uh, sacrificing any of my monsters. And I can also OD use, say, if I want them to bring out Blue Eyes White Dragon, I can only have to sacrifice one of my monsters and then sacrifice one of my opponent's monsters. Now, this card is a fun little card. Raigeki. Destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. It may be banned in competitive, but this card is not banned in casual play. So, this is a fun little card to have. Say if I, if, even if I, I like, I decided to do competitive, I probably would take it out just because it's banned. And speaking of banned cards, the final card is Monster Reborn. I can special old, old summon either. I can special summon a monster from either graveyard. So this is a fun little card to have in casual play, but it's banned in competitive. I'm pretty sure, but still, it's a fun card to have in casual play. And finally, we have the trap cards. Now this deck doesn't have too many trap cards, but the trap cards that it does have are really, really deadly because we've got a couple of mirror forces here and we all know what mirror force does. When an opponent and, and monster declares an attack, destroy all of your opponent's attack position monsters. So that is pretty deadly if you ask me. Oh, this is one of my favorite trap cards right here. Compulsory evacuation device. Target one monster uh, on the on the, your opponent's side of the field. Return that target to the hand. That is pretty p uh, good because say if my opponent managed to get a, uh, like a work their ass off to get a really powerful monster on the field, I can oh lighting. Sorry about that. I can then and target that monster and then send it back to the hand, and that would be pretty be funny. Plus, if it's a fusion monster, I then send it back to the extra deck. So. That would be a fusion monster wasted. Uh, now this card right here is a fun little card if you ask me. Fiendish Chain. Activate this card by targeting one effect monster on the field. Its effects are negated and it can't attack. When it's destroyed, this card goes to the graveyard. But still, this card is a fun card to have. It's so fun to play sometimes. Like... It could be quite good for a zombie deck because, say, if you get in Red Eye Zombie Necro Dragon, I can activate this, and then its effect goes away. Or I can use that for Doom King. Magic Drain is a pretty fun card to have as well. You can only activate this card when your opponent activates a spell card. Your opponent can discard one spell card from their hand to negate the effect of this card, but if they don't, I can and destroy the spell card that they activated. Oh. What is with the lighting today? I'm so sorry, you guys. Like, my phone is terrible, and uh, London's weather is quite unpredictable. But anyway, back to this. Uh, this could be a really good uh, card to have because, say, uh, I mean, good trap card, sorry. Because, say, if they acted some, activated something like polymerization or pot of greed or something like that, I can then activate this. They can either choose to discard one spell card from their hand, which then makes their hand slightly weaker. Or that I can just like make them not like, activate that spell card at all. So that's pretty cool. Ah, oh, another one of my favorite trap cards right here. Wall of Disruption. When the opponent ends my answer declares an attack, all attack position and um, uh, monsters that my opponent controls lose 800 attack for each monster they control. So this would be good to have because uh, my I, um, dragons don't really run um, on like increasing their attack points. So this would be a good trap to have uh, for any monsters that could potentially overtake my blue uh, otherwise chaos max dragon. Network trap hole. Now this is a fun card. When your opponent special or summons a monster uh, from their main deck or graveyard, banish it face down. So say if they've used Monster Reborn, or if they bring forth a Paladin Oracle Mahad. Activate this, then they go bye-bye. Call of the Haunted is definitely a fun little card to have. Oh, crap, I am with some lost little cards. Activate this card by targeting one monster in your graveyard. Special all that target face up in tap, in tap position. When this card leaves the field, destroy that target. When that target is destroyed, destroy this card. So this is be a good way to bring Aang forth a blue eyes white dragon, so I can either fusion summon or ritual summon. So, fun little card. 
Damage Condenser is also a pretty fun card to have as well. When you take Battle Damage, discard one card. Special Summon one monster from your deck with attack less than or equal to the damage edge you took in phase up to attack position. So this will be an automatic main with Eyes of Blue. And Reverse Glasses is the final trap in this card, in this whole deck. Half the attack of all face up monsters currently on the field until the end phase. So this could be a good a way to, um, well, like, like I said, half the attack points for every monster on the field. Like, this could, uh, be, this is also a double edged sword because it also affects my monsters. So, it, yeah, it could go either way. And there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you liked my deck, if you like Yu Gi Oh! in general, if you have any further video suggestions in the future, and if you uh, want to uh, like be a part of my giveaway, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. I'm giving away a £15 Amazon gift voucher, so all you need to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, follow me on Insta, and let me know when you've done both, and I will make sure that you have because I don't want any like fakes getting in there. Be sure of to remember though that I'm only giving it away in the UK because it's only valid in the UK and I don't really, a plus I don't really want to uh, like pay like loads of money to like fly internationally, you know? So I, uh, if you wonder how to uh, like, uh, follow me on Instagram, the link is in my about section. So go over there if you want to go over to my um, uh, Instagram and that I'll, then I'll put your name into a randomizer on my phone and then I will show you who wins on the 7th of December. If you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment down below, share this video with a friend, and if you're new, subscribe to my channel, it's been Inferno today. Okay, that's all from me, so until the next time, this is Inferno, signing off. Bye!